Hey guys, this is Darkson here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. On the last episode, we checked out that camp. It wasn't the bandit's camp, it was actually someone's camp named Jolene. Okay, I worried that wrong, but you know my point. Anyway though, it turns out she stole Clementine's hat, which we now achieved. But how dare she? How dare she steal from Clementine? No! But, you know, we have the back. Got some questions out of the way. Apparently something's up with this farm. Because also at the camp, we found some boxes from the farm. And Danny was suspicious and also scared. And now we're here going to check out Clementine. And the rest there uh, get some duck and catch as well. Because they're in here. Let's see what's going on. Oh. Oh, it's a cow. Oh, wow. Doesn't look so good. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. <laughs> Aww. It's okay. Go ahead. I mean, I'm eyeing a lot, but it's. it's See? Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. It's cute. We'll see, Clementine. It's adorable. That's a brick. What's this thing? Danny said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Please tell me they didn't lick it. Did you lick it? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> she did. Ugh. But seriously, what is a salt lick? I don't know. Like, I actually don't know. So. And we can tell me, that'd be kind of great. Uh, Clem time first. Oh, mm, dialogue first. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Is that it? How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Huh. I was like, I know it's really dark in the barn. Like, what? Well, the that one light. I guess. But, uh, since we're here, here you go! Here, Clementine. We found it! My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Oh my god, this is adorable! Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? Yeah. No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Mm. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Oh, uh, well, I, that's an awkward question. Well, uh, sure. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. <laughs> well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clint. Oh, do you want to pet the cow with me? No, nah, but you go on ahead. No, we're petting the cow. We should be petting the cow. She looks skinny. Really? Well, I guess from how cows normally are. Wait, we can't talk to Kaja? Really? We can't talk to Kaja. What? Why? Well, okay, dumb and yeah, dumb question because she's looking after the cow. We can talk to Doc. Eh, sure. Quack quack. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm. It smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> oh, jeez. Kids. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we got the nose. Wait, why look in the door? At uh, that door. Hmm. I'm gonna talk to Andy first. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Yeah, let's start off with the small stuff first, then go into uh, interesting things. Sure. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. It can moo. Um, when do you think uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Yeah, but what is the food? I mean, we saw them make bread. That was it. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh... See, he probably too. talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. You know what I think? Wait. 
I, I, were these two play with the cow and they just kind of nudged him away? I, I, I swear I missed that. Damn it! Uh, well, that's why I get for not paying attention. Anyway, though, I feel like Jolene from the last episode, she was in his camp and she got away from Andy and Danny from whatever this was. Because also we met... <laughs> she tried to pet the cat. Okay, distracting. Point is, um, they know something about that woman. And they don't want her knowing things as well. Which is probably why Danny killed her off the hop. Because they both had the same reaction. Not as much as Andy, but still. Wait, is there literally nothing I can look at here? Seriously? Then what's the point of the opening door? I don't know. Why? <sighs> Next one. Another salt liquor, though. Okay, seriously. Okay, finally. I want to play in the hay. No, dog. Let's stay close to your mom for now. <laughs> His face! Oh, he's like, yes! I wanna play! Guess told no. Ah, oh, no! That was funny. Was that all I was for, seriously? I wanna play in the hay! You're kidding me, right? Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that that sucks that, that this is only for that one cutscene, but it was funny seeing it again. It is really dark in this barn. Holy crap. I mean, crap baskets. You get what I mean. Wait. Is it? I was clicking the wrong side. This is not my day, apparently. Okay, we some more boxes. I think it's another salt liquor. I can't tell. Yes, I think. Window. So, it's... Oh, that's me. Okay. For a second, I didn't know what that was. And now, let's see what this is. It's the dairy farm box, but like, what's in it, though, is our question. Empty. What? Hmm. Last thing is the door. It's locked, too. You found it, too, huh? Ooh. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I mean... I'm, I'm agree with Ken. It's gonna be paranoid. I'll protect her no matter what. Because family. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachina. What's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lot. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Ah. Uh... Who's your head, Kenny? All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with Wait first. Wait a minute. That, uh, tool we have. Yeah, the pliers. Let's look at the... Yeah, the options there, but but let's say we don't have it. Let's uh, examine it. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Wow. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Wow. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. The crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. <laughs> can I help you boys find something? Uh-oh. Now I never. Just check out the barn, you know? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. Apparently you know, so. The bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. 
Yeah, where is he actually? Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Good timing. Let's go. I don't want to break the lock. Cause we have the cutter, but... Get him out of the barn. Wait. How do you get him out of the barn? Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Well, we gotta find something. What can I be used to distract them? I had no... Okay, can I get out? What can I use to distract them? Oh! oh. <laughs> So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Uh, oh. I manage just fine. Oh, Plus, no. I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without Oh, I'm gonna cringe. Cringe just... Bleh. Gross. Well, maybe we can talk to Lily and get some answers there. Hopefully. Uh, she doesn't look so well either, actually. Hmm, let's have a chat. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There's something on the barn. Oh, yeah. There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. Uh, she's not wrong to be fair, but on the other hand, we already are kind of neck deep in this, so might as well keep going. Yeah? What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Well, I mean, we were carrying the motion, so, I mean... <laughs> How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I had to say, I had to agree on that just because, like, you know, it is true. The same time, though, we got food out of this. I mean, it's not... I'm not saying it's a good trade-off, but I'm saying, like, in the outcome. But, again, where is Mark? It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yep. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Ah. Uh, I had to ask, yeah. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Oh. Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. Mm. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Okay, you know what? I'll give her points. It's family. You gotta stick with the family in this case. And I mean, she's doing what she can for herself and her dad. And if it's what to say is true, that's all they have left, then, you know, it's fair to say that. But I want to say, maybe because he's much of an asshole to her, in her words, that's probably why she's uh, much of a hard ass as well. Like father, like daughter, in this case. After what Kenny told me. I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. Yep. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Hmm. How to distract them? We go inside the house, maybe? Because I remember that was an option earlier. 
Possibly, I don't know. Hmm. What can we use to distract them? Not the motor, is it? Oh ho! Yes, we can. Oh wait, there we go. Power switch. Yes, Lee, it's a power switch. Oh hey, we can get some real damage on this. Access. All right, all right, let's get to it. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. I believe our two. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, nope, I'm stupid. I have the multi-tool. Let's probably turn off first. And then panel it up. Come on. I was gonna say, let's go show us all four. Oh, so oh, I see. Power tool. Let's see. Let's actually look at Looks like that bell strap in the, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, <laughs> whatchamacallit calls it? Nice job. Let's use this. Oh, wait, come on. Game. There we go. There. That should do it. Fucking damn. Where'd he find his piece of shit? Fucking <laughs> Oh, wow. Damn it, dog. Ah, son of a fuck. I mean, we did our job. Let's go, 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 go. He just knew. But you know, let's uh, mosey on. Like, literally. I wonder where we can we use the uh, camera. Right. No recorder, camera. Here we go. Okay, let's go. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Oh, right, yeah. Duh. Had to move. Huh. Let's do it. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Oh, jeez, right now? Okay, honey, let's get back. Uh-oh. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. It's Kenny, bad. come on. Don't make the children wait. Bad timing. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay, let's go. Ah, uh, Kenny, what a bro. Uh, you're a bro, man. Let's do this. Screw driver. Next. We do all four manually? Come on. I mean, I feel a little pressure coming on here. Oh, jeez, I feel a little pressure. Uh-oh, it's face. Oh. Is this what I think this is? Yep. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. We're solely screwed. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Huh. Fridge is a lot of garbage. I'm pretty sure that's a little garbage. I saw the butchering, oh, but, but no. Wow. Angel. He is totally oh, flirting. Excuse me, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and 
I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit you down. A, now go get the meal. You have a gun? Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Uh-huh. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. This is true. This is very true. Let's wash our hands and let's totally not do that. But first... And this college degree. These boys aren't stupid. Ah, oh, damn it would have been easy if they were. And this baseball trophy. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Yeah. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. High school diploma. Uh, anything else I can look at? Yeah. This must be Terry. Mm. Let's see this first. We're here. Gauze pads. I could use a shave. Some kind of lotion. Let's close up. Yeah, we're not actually using this place. I figured. No. We're seeing what's really going on. Oh, okay. Right, because it's a different angle. Wait, there's a power cord. Just come on. There's a power cable. Oh, look at this is going. This is actually kind of creeping me out a little bit. Not gonna lie. Power cable. Anything else before that room? Uh, okay, let's see what this room is. Is that blood? Blood stains. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Blood. Okay, so blood on the floor. Feels like there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, all right. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't walk out of a door. Power cord. All right. What is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers eat with this kind of stuff? I think I have an idea. What do they need so much morphine for? Candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Lake Mark. Musty as hell. Ugh. What is this stuff? All right, click Looks on like it. Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. Tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers eat with this kind of stuff? Let's see what really is going on here. Huh, where is that cord going? Because it is off. What the hell? What? What the? Yeah, what he said. Like, this is actually kind of scary. Uh, but I think we'll leave that for the next time, folks. Yeah, it's a little short, but things have been a little have been interesting right now, so perhaps next time will be a little longer. But for now, everyone, tune in next time for the next episode of The Walking Dead. This is Darkson, signing off.